In the beginning, the actions of the identity thefts were first recognized by a sister of one of the deceased victims on or about July 9th of 2021. Think about that. That's only 16 days after the building's collapse. The sister notified the Surfside Police Department and since that, since that collapse that she had noticed that her mailing address was changed with some of her financial institution information, that replacement credit cards were requested to be mailed to a new address, that there were multiple unauthorized wire transfers that were initiated from the deceased account to other accounts, that a number of purchases uh, were made where fraudulent purchases were put on these other cards, such as on July 8th from Medusa Sandals at $374.50 at the Nordstrom in, in Aventura. The Aventura's police department investigation was able to capture with the assistance of the security of the mall on their closed security TV, a female in her car which was a Mercedes that left this merchandise, that left this merchandise, I'm sorry, the tag was registered to one of the thieves. Additionally, Barclays Bank had contacted or had contact with Aventure Police Department that on July 6, 2021, a female called, claiming to be the deceased and asking to send a replacement card to the same address where that car I just told you about was traced to. The deceased victim's husband, by the way, was also a victim uh, of identity theft. Additionally, this joint criminal investigation determined that the apartment that was used was and has been vacant and unoccupied. It is also alleged that it was being used as a drop box location for these offenders whose real addresses were in completely different locations. We are announcing the arrest of Betsy Alejandro Cache Medina, um, Kimberly Michelle Johnson, Rodney Schutte, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, I hope so. And among the charges that they face are organized scheme to defraud, identity theft, trafficking in credit cards, use of counterfeit and fictitious ID, and the bond for these defendants have been set at $1 million for Medina, $500,000 for Johnson, and $430,000 for Shooting.